Hello everybody. Today we're going to start milling up some Purple Heart that I bought. It's about 16, 12 and 5 eighths wide. We're going to split it in half. And that should leave us enough joint to maintain 6 inches, which is what the client wants for this frame. It's going to be 5 feet by 4 feet landscape orientation with a 1 inch uh, inlay of zebra wood around the outside perimeter, roughly about an inch from the end. So we're going to split it in half, take it to the joiner, join it, and then figure out our rebate and cut in our inlay. And we'll probably just use the dado since it's purple heart and it's extremely tough. We got the three quarter inch tungsten tipped bandsaw blade in here. That should give us a nice straight cut. Uh, it's not jointed, so I'm not going to run it through the table saw, and it has a really high potential of binding. So this will not, and the curve is smaller, and it's saving in the material. So we'll get this all planed up, or uh, cut in half, and then we'll go from there. Here's the milling process that I uh, started with. We had a, our big, I went to the yard, and I found a piece that was just little bit bigger than 13 inches wide uh, so I could just split it in half and have almost no waste. I'm cutting it first on the bandsaw because there was a little twist in the board and uh, it's a lot safer cutting it on the bandsaw and it's not magic holding that thing out there. I have a have rollers set and it took me a little bit I made sure the rollers were pretty spot on uh, so it didn't tilt or anything. But here we are just splitting it in half and then we're gonna get it ready for planing. So now I'm ready to joint. And before I do anything, when I start joining, I make sure that the fence is square. So it's just an engineering square. And touch on various points. So the joiner. I have it at its max width, which is six inches, and it's gonna overhang just a little bit, but we can take the rest of that off with a plane. So let's get started. Here we are prepping one side, dust extractor on, for uh, thicknessing. The joiner is six inches, this board's about six and a quarter wide, so there's gonna be a little lip. But we have to get one side flat, so we can run it through a thicknesser if there's any undulations on the one side of the board, all it does is copy itself on the top and you won't have a flat board. You'll just have a uniform thickness that's wavy. Here I am just taking off that quarter inch lip with a trying plane so I can run it right back through. And make sure your hands are well on the board so you're not going to slip and get your fingers caught in the joiner blades. So just be careful. Also make sure you know the grain direction. If it was running the other way, we'd have so much tear out from Purple Heart that we'd have to remove so much stock and be uh, a lot of waste. So we're looking for about two inches thick here. Here I am removing that, those real thin shavings. Uh, you can see, and I go until uh, it's flush. And here's another view, like how I got my hands right on the board securely. Uh, and away from the blades. So we started joining our purple heart and when we join it the grain is going this way because the blade is going that way. So we'll feed it this way. And my joiner is six inches wide. This is about six and a quarter. So there's a quarter inch lip that doesn't get jointed down. So. I go with the trying plane, you can use any kind of plane, but the longer the better. And I come by and just take some rivets off until it's flat the rest of the board. Here we are continuing to remove that little quarter inch lip that we were talking about. And I'm just going to go ahead and take it down until it's flush. and then. Uh, we're going to run it through the thicknesser and get our uniform thickness. We're going to do all the boards at once. If we're going to do use a thicknesser, we're going to 
we'll shove them all through there at one time so everything is the same thickness. We'll do the same thing with the joiner and all that and the table saw. I'm just taking off about two thou of an inch uh, every time. So here we are at our little porta cable thickness here. I have it set to where I just barely take any off at first and then I know that's my uh, spot where I touch and then I can adjust from there. And I'll go until I take off uh, all the rough marks, all the old uh, thicknessing marks from the uh, timber yard. <laughs> I modified this for the dust extractor so whenever you modify any of these uh, be careful. So you can see I got the board stacked up and I just go in a order to get them all the same thickness. Purple Heart does uh, put out some really fine shavings and so I kept the fan on the one side to blow them out of my face because that uh, dust extractor doesn't get them all. But I took very little bit off every time because Purple Heart tends to uh, tear out really easily so make sure the grain direction is right when you're shoving it through and I just take a little bit off every time I'd rather sharpen the blades than go buy a new piece of the timber and this is a 12 quarter purple heart or a quarter I'm sorry and here we are we're gonna square the sides I ended up having this to joint this by hand because uh, it was too long for my six inch joiner and it was actually rocking it. So here I'm using a trying plane, which is around the same length as the number six, but you can use a six, seven, eight, something that's long enough that it doesn't ride the undulations. So I kind of barely clamp it in the uh, front vices and I just go and keep taking a little bit off, checking my square, and you can see that I'm taking there's a uh, low spot in the middle so I'm taking off more on each side until I get one shaving all the way across and then I know it's flat and usually I'll eye it at the end of the uh, board to make sure there's no uh, dips or undulations but the, the good thing about this trying plane it'll it'll actually plane both directions because it's got a really fine mouth about 0.3 of a millimeter here I am just checking you can see the one side's uh, high on that end so once you got one square side you can go ahead and run it through the table saw at, and take off the least amount possible and you'll have two square sides perfectly parallel to each other now do this all in one swoop make sure we do each one of them and I got little white marks you can see that's gonna run next to the fence and that reminds me that that's the side that I squared with the trying plane and the bottom is jointed on that side And so on one of these boards it actually uh, was a little thinner so I had to make an adjustment so I had to go back and recut all of those and I actually cut them to um, maybe about a sixteenth over my final dimension. If I have to make any adjustments by hand, I'll do that. I'd rather take off a little than uh, not have enough. This is the first video in a series on this frame. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. Take care.